I am going to give you a quick demo on how to submit something to the Dropbox. So we are already logged into Desire to Learn and you've come to your home page. This is my English 121-840 um, class. Um, and so we would go ahead and um, find the Dropbox. It's located right here on our home page. If you give that a click, it'll take us into the Dropbox folders. You'll notice that right now there are two folders. You need to make sure that um, you submit things to the proper folder for homework. If you're submitting a, a late homework assignment or something like that, you would click on homework. But I'm doing this tutorial so you know how to submit your papers. So paper one, make sure you're submitting it in the paper one profile. You will notice that it's got this little um, uh, binoculars thing here. That means that the plagiarism database um, is turned on in there. Okay. Um, over here on this left hand side it means that I've already submitted one thing. I did a practice. So you can always tell how many things that you have submitted to the Dropbox. If I go ahead and click on this, okay, this is what it's going to look like. It's pretty much like uploading something to an email. Okay, if you have any comments that you want to submit to the teacher, um, let's say you accidentally submitted the wrong um, file, as sometimes happens, um, then you would let me know. I don't know. This is this is the correct paper. Um, then I know when I'm looking at this to look at which paper. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and click Add File. and it will open up a separate page. If you have um, your pop-up blockers on, make sure that you disable it for this so that it will allow you to do this. Now, the way you desire to learn works is it does have this drag and click option. So if you um, have Safari or Firefox, I believe, you can actually um, drag your files so if I opened up my files over here I could drag them and drop them in um, or you can just go ahead and click upload and it will open up your um, your computer okay if you have your um, files on a flash drive if you're doing this at school the flash drive will be located somewhere on this side so you'd go ahead and click on the flash drive otherwise you'll be searching through um, your computer. So if I click on desktop, okay, um, then I would have everything that's loaded on my desktop, etc. Okay, so we'll pretend that this is what I'm going to be submitting. I'll click open, okay, and you'll see it up here right here. The same thing, it'll look exactly the same if you dragged and dropped it. Okay, then I've clicked done. This does not mean that it has been submitted yet. Okay, if you uploaded the wrong one, you can click this little X and start over. No big deal. Okay, but I have not submitted it yet. I need to click this submit button right here in order for it to go through. So I click submit and I get this um, final page. You must see this final page to know that it's gone through. It says file upload results, file submission successful. If you don't see successful, it means it didn't go through. It'll tell you exactly um, what folder it went to. Double check that it went to the right folder. Um, the title of your file, please make sure that you are titling your files in a way that is recognizable. Sometimes you submit multiple things to the same folder and I don't know what they are. So make sure you have the um, assignment name okay, and your name. So for this one, profile paper, Kate Caruso would have been the correct title for this. Um, any comments that you made, if you made any, the submission date and time. And then this thing down here, email status, confirmation, email sent successfully. Okay, in order to check, okay, um, this I will click done. Okay, and then if I want to double, double check, make sure that email went through, okay, because it is your responsibility to make sure that all of this went through. Come up here to our email, you click on it. Now, because this is a demo student, I can't see any of the emails, um, but you will have an email and it'll pop up very first that will say um, exactly um, what that confirmation was that that 
um, Dropbox was sent successfully. If you don't see that, it probably didn't go through. Okay. The other thing you can do is you can check here. I'm in the Dropbox folder history. Paper 1 profile paper, submissions. Oh, it went from 1 to 2. So I know that I have submitted two things to Paper 1 profile paper. Just a couple more things. Please only submit your final draft. Um, I do not need any of your rough drafts. I just need that final draft to go here. Okay, another thing is that all papers that are submitted will be running through that plagiarism database that I mentioned earlier. Okay, so if you have any questions uh, about research or if you're properly citing, always just send me an email. I would much rather you and I have a conversation about it and work through it than you getting in trouble um, through the school because it is, it is a mandatory reporting um, if you get caught for plagiarism. So, if you have any further questions or run into any trouble, you can, of course, always email me at kate, K-A-T-E, dot caruso, C-A-R-U-S-O, at ccd dot edu. Remember, do not use this email. Use your CCD email to get in touch with me. All right, thank you very much, and please make sure you submit these before the paper is due.